dirty water and swimming right beneath one of the shrimp boats was this big boy. Had an interesting call. I looked down at my phone, it's ringing and it's Cam Kirkconnell. Uh, for those of you who don't know who he is, he's, I would say, conservatively one of the best, if not the best, or well-known uh, spear fishermen in say the world. I mean, definitely as far as a guide, he's probably the top guy. Travels around the world uh, guiding people on the biggest fish probably they've ever seen and definitely ever shot. He's like, hey man, uh, let's go to Louisiana and shoot big tuna. Uh, I can't really say no to that, assuming everything is dialed in and the conditions are right. And he basically said that tuna showed up early this year. They're in shallow. Visibility's good. Conditions are good. Let's go next week. Today's Friday. He wants to leave Monday or Tuesday and just basically cancel the work schedule and go hunting tuna. And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. What just dawned on me right now is that I don't have the right gear to go do that and I get to go shopping for more gear. Woo! take off tonight, eight o'clock flight out of Fort Lauderdale, non-stop to New Orleans. I'll be 100% honest with you, I have no idea where we're staying, I wasn't involved with getting the hotel, I don't even know what town we're going to. So, it's gonna be a for sure adventure. This is like the definition of an adventure. We'll wake up this morning bright and early with alarms go off at six and this is what we wake up to. Whew. Everyone has their little condo up on stilts. This is called an establishing shot of me on time and you guys not. Breakfast. Let's go. Let's go. So we've got the cast nets going. We have a few buckets of chum going. I'm assuming we're gonna stop at about four and then we're gonna head offshore and see what we can find. Cam and Joey just got on that shrimp boat. They're gonna figure out what those guys wanna trade to get some of their bycatch so we can use it as chum. That's the way it works out here. We're just cruising around now, uh, throwing chum in random spots wherever we see the birds and fish activity. There's just so much life out here. Guys, day one in Louisiana is in the books. Uh, we dove all day. Everyone is completely exhausted. Um, conditions were great. Uh, visibility was good. The seas were calm. The winds were calm. 
Um, we did not see any yellowfin tuna. We did shoot two blackfin tuna, three cobia, and a couple snapper. So overall, very good day. Had an absolute blast today. Great crew, great captain, uh, great dive buddies. Um, didn't get the yellowfin, but there's always tomorrow. Day two, we're gonna head out some of the same spots and go for the yellowfin tuna. We got Captain Will on point today. Good Say morning. What's up? Good morning, what's up? We didn't think it was gonna happen. We tried to switch it up today. Someone very wise, two people very wise, Joey and Will said they catch more tuna in the dirty water. And what did we do? We went right to the dirty water and swimming right beneath one of the tuna boats, uh, one of the shrimp boats was this big boy. We got a clean shot right through the back right here. Oh dude, don't do that. <laughs> Uh, definitely over 100 pounds. The judge will finally tell us uh, when we get back to the dock how much she weighs, but big fish. Definitely a long journey to get here, but we made it. That was well worth it, buddy. Awesome. Well done. Whew. Uh -huh.